So the idea for this video changed a few times, but the main thing is that my old Intel Mac with an i7 ran Windows Boot Camp a lot better than it ran Mac OS and especially the Mac OS Tahoe beta that I was testing on a horrible disaster. Just, I would not run another Mac OS beta. With that said, I'm gonna challenge myself for one week to use nothing but this old 2019 Mac with boot camp to get all my work done. I'm talking video editing, photo editing, emails, planning, video planning. I don't know how it's gonna put up for, with video editing, but I'm gonna try that. The only time I'm gonna use the Apple Silicon Mac is to transfer files from there onto here. Let's go. All right, so it's Saturday. Today's day one of using just the Windows Bootcamp MacBook. I'm not looking forward to editing video on it, only because I don't think it's gonna be holding up too well. Um, I work full time during the week, so Saturdays and Sundays are my full days of getting everything done. I'll do stuff on the week nights, but we're fresh off the iPhone release. So what I wanna do is I wanna go look at primarily the iPhone Air, and then I got my laptop, Sin Passenger Princess, and we're gonna, we're gonna work and do some uh, emails primarily, and we're gonna plan a video for tomorrow. So it's kind of light work. Like I said, I'm gonna check out does video editing, but anyways, you guys are coming along for the ride. Look at that, little makeshift boom mic over here. Genius. If you've watched one of my previous videos, I mentioned getting out of the house to work and uh, just clear your mind, focus a little bit better. So that's what I'm doing now. I set up shop, I'm, you know, I set up camp over here. I got the laptop in question to work on. I wanted to do emails. I wanted to plan a video to shoot for tomorrow. Then I wanted to go to the Apple store, like I said. I would have went there first, but I decided to just kind of start with the priorities first. Hopefully it's not too packed. If it's too packed, I'll tell you, like, I'm not going to stay and wait. I'm just going to, I'm walking out. I'm not waiting in line to look at an iPhone. I'm not going to do every day by day, but I'll check in with you guys after three days of using this, and then I'll do a final conclusion at the end of the week to kind of wrap all my thoughts up. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to crank out some, some stuff on this. I ended up going to see the new iPhones. I'm pretty impressed by the iPhone Air. I actually like the design a lot more than the Pros this year, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. When I got home, I decided to try editing this video on the laptop, but even with proxies in DaVinci Resolve, it was almost impossible to edit properly. So the video editing is gonna be left to my M2 MacBook Pro. But with that said, photo editing was manageable. It wasn't fun, but you can technically edit pictures if you don't mind waiting a little bit for changes to take place. Although editing photos was manageable and doable on this thing, Lightroom did overall feel way more sluggish and it just wasn't a fun experience to edit pictures. Day one wrapped up with me writing out some video ideas in Notion, analyzing some YouTube stats. All in all, the laptop works great for stuff like that, no complaints, but it starts bogging down and you start seeing its limitations when you start pushing it with photo or video editing. All right, so it's been three days and I gotta say, we are definitely creatures of habit because using this after even just the first day, it was a little trippy. The Microsoft Precision uh, trackpad drivers are definitely not on par with Apple's. The gestures are good, the feel of the trackpad's good, but it's not the same as what Apple does. I don't know what Apple does, but when they do something like that, when they do their touch screens, when they do their operating systems, their trackpads, they just do it right and it just feels way better. My workflow was definitely interrupted because I'm used to seeing things in certain places. I'm used to having my dock with the apps knowing where, okay, I gotta open, I'm gonna open Spotify now, I wanna open Notion now. I, it, like the setup in my mind of the habits that I have when I click things all got disrupted when using this. But this is after three days, it's manageable. It's definitely an inconvenience. Not having airdrop sucks, but we're gonna fast forward now and I'm gonna to talk to you guys about what it's like using this thing for a full week. Before it was Modelo, now it's Coors. You guys are gonna think I only own beer shirts. I promise you, I don't only own beer shirts. Yesterday was the last day using the Bootcamp MacBook, and I gotta say, it wasn't that bad. I basically switched my whole workflow to Windows. I switched to Windows for a week, essentially, and it wasn't that bad. I missed a few features like AirDrop and Apple Reminders because I did, or I do always use Apple Reminders with between my iPhone and my Mac, and I like how it syncs 
once I make a change or add something, it shows up on the other device. But there's plenty of third-party apps you can kind of get around that with. As a laptop for doing general tasks, forget about graphic design, photo editing, video editing. It, it could probably could do a little bit of it. it. Like the video editing was very laggy and it, once you would watch the clip a few times, it would kind of smoothen out and you'd be able to watch it. But loading in or importing in 4K footage and adding it to the timeline right away, it really bogged it down and it would lag like crazy. But forgetting about all the power user performance apps that you might need to use, as a general computer, as a general laptop for either uh, your parents or some, like just a student who does a lot of writing and browser tasks, an older MacBook like that, an older laptop in general, and I spoke about this when I made my video about the old seven-year-old razor blade, but as a general purpose computer for browser tasks and docs, emails, uh, any general computer tasks, it performs very well. Battery life wasn't as good as the newer Macs, of course. It impressed me because it, it surprised me in that I thought it was gonna be a lot worse, especially since the battery's older and it's got some mileage on it, but it actually held up pretty good. Now, am I gonna switch over back to my 2019? Absolutely not. I upgraded for a reason because that thing couldn't keep up, but uh, I do prefer the body styling of that MacBook era. That Gen MacBook, I think they got it right. The thinness, the sharp corners. I'm not a fan of the round corners of the newer MacBooks, but I'm not gonna switch over, but I did enjoy having that older design. This was kind of just an experiment, so I'm not expecting you guys to go on Facebook Marketplace or eBay or something and pick up an old 2019, but if you have an old 2019 or you know somebody who has one that they wanna get rid of it, I would say it's really worth putting Bootcamp on it and just using it as a Windows laptop because it works phenomenal as a Windows laptop. I gotta say, I prefer it way better than using Mac OS on that MacBook. I prefer, I'm a Mac OS guy, but when it comes to that 2019 MacBook, I feel like it's perfect for bootcamp. It's, it's perfect as a Windows laptop. Of course, Windows is not the best at doing some certain things. So for the trackpad, I mentioned this in the previous clip, the three day check-in, but I didn't like how the Windows precision drivers are. I just, I don't like them. I was accidentally swiping the mouse with my palm which is a big problem. And in Mac OS, I never had that issue. I would never be typing and then have my mouse move or I would never be moving my mouse and then have it be inaccurate. There was some inaccuracy in it. I don't know if that's because it's, you know, running off of a MacBook through the bootcamp assisted drivers and compatibility stuff that they have going, but it just, it wasn't the best. So that basically includes the video. I thought this was a fun kind of experiment challenge to do. Let me know if you guys use bootcamp and or if you're getting bootcamp right now in the comments below and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out